Mikey Me, I live in Lubbock, and welcome to this Friday, May 8th, 2015, this edition of Heat Sinks. Oh boy, do I have a good one for you today, kids, because we are going to start a new segment here on Fridays, because let's face facts, every day in the news, it doesn't matter what news source you uh, read, whether it's the Huffington Post, whether it's CNN.com, FoxNews.com, what have you. You always have one of these stories. Welcome to the first installment of Florida Man Fridays. Florida Man. All right, so this week we are going to start Florida Man Fridays with uh, the title is Florida Man Chokes Physician's Assistant with Stethoscope. Cops say a man in Inglewood, Florida is facing assault charges after allegedly, okay, now I emphasize allegedly because he has not been convicted in a court of law. Uh, he choked a physician's assistant with a stethoscope. Uh, officials say John Connolly, 52, entered the Sarasota Family Medical Walking Clinic in hopes of upgrading a prescription for pain medication, according to uh, Tampa Beach Online. And apparently a doctor reportedly wasn't available and the on-duty's physician's assistant couldn't alter the prescription without the actual doctor's authorization. Um, apparently at that point, suspects started yelling profanities and he, he was told to leave. Okay. Well, this is when the story goes south real fast because apparently Connolly did leave. And by the way, isn't he a looker? Wow. Um, he left. He came back a short time later to find the physician's assistant. Then he allegedly grabbed the assistant's stethoscope and used it to choke the man. And, um, witnesses had to pull him off of the PA and it looks like he was arrested and charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon and uh, being held without bond. So, yeah, it sounds like this guy's probably had some trouble with the, uh, the law before. Florida man. Okay, on to our second story. And this one actually I thought was funny. And you'll have to excuse me if I keep looking over elsewhere. I'm actually having to read uh, from a screen that's not, like, right behind my camera. So I'm not fancy yet. We're, we're working on that. We may get a Patreon for that. Uh, this story came from the Huffington Post, entitled The Straight Poop About Florida's Public Defecators. You got it. Florida man, woman, and child who like to poop all over the place. Uh, Florida may be known as the Sunshine State, but they're having to deal with um, stuff that comes from places that the sun don't shine. In the last 30 months, Florida has had at least five people arrested on charges that include some form of inappropriate defecation. Okay, now the latest Floridian who was accused of crappy behavior is Caitlin Patricia Feligi, F-E-L-E-G-I, Feligi, Feligi, whatever, doesn't matter. She was 18, she was arrested on April 25th after allegedly breaking into and damaging her ex-boyfriend's home, according to the Tampa Bay Times. Now notice here's two stories back-to-back -back that are both out of Tampa, the Tampa area, Tampa and Tampa Bay, so... That's already a sign of, of problems right there. Uh, Pinellas County Sheriff's Deputy, who was driving uh, Feligi, Feligi <laughs> Fecal Matter to jail. I'll just call her Miss Fecal Matter. Uh, Pinellas County Sheriff's Deputy, who was driving Miss Fecal Matter to jail, said she allegedly defecated in the back of the SWAT car. Deputy said that Miss uh, Fecal Matter intentionally removed her pants and pooped all over the police cruiser. <laughs> Oh, it gets better. The Pooh State Patrol car was out of commission for eight hours while inmates were forced to clean it up. There's a good use of uh, taxpayer dollars right there. Total damage was estimated around $100. Now, my big question is, did they keep the poo as evidence? I don't know. Uh, apparently, Miss Fecal Matter has since been charged with criminal mischief, burglary, and simple domestic assault. But if the accusations uh, stick, kind of like it does on the bowl of the toilet, she joins a rogue gallery of Floridians who like to mark stuff with poop, including this guy. Gregory Matthew Bruni, 21, became a pooping legend of sorts in January 2013 when he allegedly climbed naked onto a family's home in... <laughs> North Fort Myers, Florida, and jumped onto the homeowner. He allegedly ran inside the house, knocking down a TV and spilling the contents of a vacuum on a floor, which he later drank. He's accused of pooping in two spots on the floor, but not before masturbating in the living room and rubbing clothes belonging to the residents on his face. Oh, but we have an even better one out of Vero Beach, Florida. Brenda Schumann, 51, after she allegedly defecated and urinated on the floor of her home after discovering her husband in bed with another woman. Now, uh, Miss Schumann later told a deputy, I found him in bed with a naked chick. What was I supposed to do? 
Well, one good guess is you weren't supposed to shit on the floor. Real shitty of you there, Miss uh, Schumann. Oh, my Lord. The stuff that comes out of Florida. So we're going to make this a uh, weekly thing. Real short segment. And i got to thank Cox and Crendor for giving me the inspiration to do this. Uh, if you want to check them out, link bing, right here to Cox and Crendor Animated, Florida Man's 1 and 2. Um, I tried to contact them to actually get permission to use the Florida Man. Um, never heard back from so I'm just going to use it. Worst they can do is tell me fuck off. I don't think Jesse Cox would do that, though, or at least I, I'd hope not. Guys, rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe on this video. And as always... Thanks for watching.